Hello, I'm George Anderson from runningbygeorge.com and welcome to another episode of Ron Hill's Run Every Day. Today I'm going to talk to you about fartlek training, which is a really good way of adding a little bit of interest and excitement to an otherwise straightforward uh, standard fixed distance or fixed duration run. It's also a really good way of getting our body used to changing gears and running faster even when it's getting a little bit tired. A fartlek literally translates as speed play and you, unlike interval training or threshold training, which is, it tends to be quite formulaic, tends to be quite um, strict with the timings for the, 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 the time you spend running hard and the time you spend running easy, recovering. In Fartlek, the difference is that you're being a little bit more random, you're being a little bit more playful with exactly how you, you arrange these sessions. And you can either set it out in, in advance and say, right, I'm going to run for three lamp posts hard, then one lamp post easy, three lamp posts hard, one lamp post easy. And it depends how far apart your lamp posts are as to how long and far you're going to be running for at the, at the, the faster speed. But you can also play around with what I like is the three of the gears, where you have three or four even levels of intensity or speeds. Level one would be nice and easy, level two would be running a little harder, maybe threshold intensity. And level three would be running pretty, pretty hard. So not quite flat out, but pretty hard. And you play around with going from one to the next to the next gear. And you can do this with lamp posts or fixed things, or you can even be more, even more random and playful again by saying, I'm going to go to level two when, I, when a blue car passes me. Then when a red car passes me, I'm going to go 10 seconds all out at level three. Then you're going to drop back down again until the next blue car passes and the next red car and so on. You don't know when red cars or blue cars are going to pass. And obviously, if you're in a park, uh, you might want to pick a dog walker or somebody who's somebody else who's jogging past the end of the day to be your markers. So you can play around with it, and it's great fun. It's, psychologically, it's great fun as well because of that randomness. You don't know what's coming. You don't know what's going to happen. Um, you almost don't know how hard the session's going to be. So you can play with, with, uh, with that as well. It's a great one to do in a group or if you're out running with a buddy because you can take it in turns to throw out the next one. Right? What we're going to do next? Um, what's the next part of the, the session going to be like? And in a 30 or 45 minute session, you, you, you'll work as hard as you can work, but you've also had that, um, that opportunity to practice and play, play around with changing the intensity uh, randomly so your body isn't quite ready for it, you're not quite psychologically geared up to it uh, when you do it the buddy way like that. So fartlek -like training is a great way of training, and especially if you're on a bit of a run streak, it's a really good one to add in there at least every few days just to keep that interest going. I'm George Anderson. Thanks for watching this video. Please feel free to share it. And if you haven't already signed up for Run Every Day or you just want to check in, see how everybody else is going, then click the link below and you'll be taken to the relevant webpage. And I will see you again very soon on the next video. Bye for now.